be here. It's a very special occasion. And I talk a little bit of few parts about <laughs> that. That's us. Right. <laughs> so, um, well, on that number theory, it's very special way of proving the existence of interesting numbers simply by, by counting. That's it. The problem is how do we count? So if, for example, you have a, a sequence, you know quite a bit about it, We'd like to select those who are of our interest. And that means to eliminate those which are not. So we can, for example, if you wanna know numbers in arithmetic progressions, I count these, <clears throat> these numbers, I can use the characters to pick up the classes and end up with the expression S of QA is the sum of the characters with of twisted sum by A twisted by pi of N. And so therefore in this example the problem Transferred to studying listed sequences rather than sequences having the designated property. So, um, and so on and so on. You can do many, you know, constructions like that of different harmonics if that are appropriate for the problem studying. For example, you can take I don't know what is the pointer here. There is a pointer here. It's above the arrows. Much, too much. There has to be a pain. I use all the combinations. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Yeah. Okay. So, 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 um, yeah, I got it. Thank you. So, um, uh, let's go back to do to, to, to arithmetic progressions. Interesting sequences are, of course, prime numbers, and you'd like to know how many are there in a, in a given rest of the class. The chi of x q a is the counting function. Von Mangold function lambda n here, the carrier of prime powers, okay, and that meant the progression. So, so we can detect this equation by two characters and transfer the whole problem to, oops, to the functions. Right, so, uh, and to the zeros of the functions. The Riemann hypothesis gives you very good error term in counting psi function, error term x to one half log x squared, <coughs> uh, which is actually equivalent to the Riemann hypothesis, I mean, ground Riemann hypothesis or general Riemann hypothesis. <coughs> Speak a little louder. My wife does not allow me to. <laughs> okay, I will try more. Now. <laughs> Which hypothesis? Lehman hypothesis? Yeah, that's how I can prove it. <laughs> All right, let's go. So, uh, Enrico, I think I learned that way from you. <laughs> it's very soft. Yeah. Okay, no, I'm just, okay. Enough jobs. Let's go. Let's let's try to be serious for a moment. Yeah. 
Um, so the Riemann hypothesis is equivalent with a uh, good asymptotic for psi, if we have a term x to one half log x square. And uh, um, however, for applications, we really don't need that much that good at a term. Uh, it's enough that we know uh, distribution of primes uh, uniformly with respect to the modulus. Um, that is to say, uh, I mean, for example, it, 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 it's good enough. Oh, gee, I am really afraid to <laughs> manipulate with these things. Yeah. Yeah, it's here, right? It's, it, it's enough to, to have formula of this caliber, and the main term, and the error term relatively is smaller than main term by any power of log x. So I don't need to, uh, to say x to one half for, for most applications, but uniformity in Q is very important. The, the, the point is that prime geometric progressions are with this elementary part, I mean, but building blocks in many constructions for arithmetic. So uniformity is really vital, not just simply uh, uniformity with respect to Q. So what we know today is rather disappointing, I would say pathetic. It's just only the uniformity of that formula two, you know, for Q up to power of log. That's it. that's a famous theorem of Ziegler and Balfish. And uh, why the Riemann hypothesis with this statement above allows us to take Q up to school of X, essentially. It's a much, much larger range. And um, <clears throat> so that's how it is so surprising, really revolutionized the field of fundamental number theory, the result from 1965 by Enrico Gary, who actually proved this statement here. You see now, for Q up to X to one half, but for almost all Q. But the number of exceptional is very small. Uh, it's a, but, but smaller than, than, than relatively by, by, by any power of log x. And so practically it is sufficient. You don't need it for all q. So precisely he proved the theorem here, number five, the formula. And um, yeah, which means what I said before. So, so that the primes are equidistributed uniformly over the classes with modulus up to essentially square root of x. This, 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 this was uh, very important uh, for further development of number theory because of applications. The similar results were started before and established. Uh, mm -hmm. I mean, first of all, independently and almost with the same statement was established also by Dino Gradov. Um, but but uh, uh, and the point is that that in practice, particularly when applied this result in conception in, in combination of seed methods, it is a full substitute for the Riemann hypothesis. So one may say that the hypothesis has been proved. <laughs> <laughs> why are you laughing? <laughs> I know why. <laughs> anyway, so, uh, and really true. I mean, I don't, can't imagine today an a number theory without that theory. This was revolutionary. You know, uh, 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 many results earlier established by, uh, somewhat weaker, uh, earlier by, by René, for example, Rob, and some other, you know, and they, they, they are based on, on ideas from earlier work, very short publication paper by Lini. It's called The Large Sea. It's just a few pages paper. And uh, why it is called Large Sea, if I didn't start it from this point, you see, 
Well, you, 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 I don't have much time to, to show historically, chronologically how things were developed. So let me just give you some consequence of these ideas in, in the current version of the large sieve type statement. So here it is. Take a finite set of primes, P, the P, for every prime in P, choose arbitrarily a set of residual classes, modulo P. Let the number of such classes be omega P, some set, and let's, let's not be trivial, so omega P is positive and still, still less than P, like that. And uh, so these classes are so-called unwanted classes that we want to get rid of from the set. So let S be the set and be, be a set of uh, integers in a segment of length capital N, ar arbitrary segment, but length N, right? Yeah, and uh, set consisting and the model of P not in this selected classes for every P in in P. Question is how large is the set? How, how many uh, how many elements we eliminate? Well, here's the, 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 the consequence of the large sieve inequality. Uh, in a modern version, there were other versions earlier, Ricker and Roth, also the Reni, the, the, the there's limited variance, etc. Let me just jump and go quickly to the best possible, uh, the best uh, things known today in this particular context. So S is bounded by Q squared plus N over L. N is the length of the interval. If Q is less than square root of N, that doesn't matter, Q squared plus N, but we divide by L. So the L is, is measures how much we eliminate percentage-wise, so to speak. Right. So L is, 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 is the average of this, uh, oh, excuse me, of, of this uh, density. Here is the type of, sorry, not 1 minus omega, P, P minus sorry. Right. Yeah, so, so, so this is the ratio of number of classes eliminated to the remaining classes. And uh, for, for every P, and to sum of the P up to, let's see, but we can also sum over the composite numbers and the product of things like that. So, so Q is at your disposal, but of course the best choice is about square root of N to get the strongest result. So this is this is the version of uh, I mean of C type version of the last C type inequality. It's really powerful, particular when, when it is when omega P is large, when you eliminate a large number of of classes like omega p, b, p, when you show over two, half classes eliminate. You know, so it's almost like, like looking how many squares are in the sequence. So that's how we call it large sieve, because we eliminate a, a large number of classes, not just one or two, a fixed number of them. Like that. Okay, so uh, th this is just illustration uh, uh, why the last, why we have the name last sieve. It, it, I don't show you how this is derived and all this you know, developments over the years that came uh, at, 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 at this. I think this is comparable, the result with straight sieve, by the way, that the bump. It's a surprising in a way. Right, the, the, the same answer, with, but with slight error terms in it. Would be, what is capital Q? Capi what is capital Q here? By me? What is capital Q in this theorem? Anything. Larger than two. two. If, if you choose to Q too small, then you save very little. Very little. If you choose to Q too large, then Q squared uh, dominates over N, and that's not good. So Q is a parameter. A little Q. A parameter, yeah. Okay, okay. so Q. Yeah. Choose Q being square root of N. That's a good choice. Probably yeah. almost perfect as possible. And, and uh, so, so the, uh, it took years to develop, you know, a modern version of the jump already here, to, and then to find the, 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 the principles 
that seed principles and many contributors are here. You know, uh, uh, we mentioned like Davenport, Harbour, Stamsel, Bummer, Elliot, and of course Enrico. Uh, well, uh, Penny, Roth, and, and uh, Linnick idea, which was really far away from, from the current version of the Lazio, but was the, was the, was the beginning of it. So that's how the name of Lazio uh, remains. But today, the, 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 the C aspect of Lazio is completely gone. It's not uh, not uh, recognizable at all. You know, it's just some people think, and I think included in Selbeck, Gomer, it's a kind of it, you, you look through the through the the, 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 the lack sieve the, through the vessels inequality in a Hilbert space, for example. Of course. But but uh, I could even include furthermore like 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 uh, special banner forms, evaluations or estimations. As, as part of the Latsif. I said the Latsif terminology is now completely you know, uh, irrelevant to, to, to what, what we what, what one study in this in this uh, theory of the Latsif. The name remains Latsif. Yeah. Um, let's see. Yeah. So 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 the, let's let's take the the the, 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 the uh, for the characters. That's what we call Vlad Sif. Here, this inequality in the theorem. And Enrico gave a, a, a very comprehensive, complete presentation of the best possible, strongest results already in 1973 in Collège de France course, which I will have a copy of the things <laughs> without any dedication. But, yeah, that's it. Yeah, so, 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 so you, you, the, 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 the modern uh, version of the Lazio is there. You can, you can, you can, uh, you, you can, you, you can see, see uh, uh, for example, the theorem over there, which is, which is called the Lazio inequality. That, that's that's uh, the best possible inequality. Uh, the, the, the earlier results by other people, uh, Nicole, Davenport, Halberstam, Gommel, or the, the, the Gallagher, also I should mention. The, 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 this, the, this, this was not that precise. There was some, 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 some constant involved. <laughs> and uh, the, a demo, uh, Selbeck, Gommel, uh, got, got the best uh, number here, Q squared plus N minus one. Or Cohen was very keen to get minus one. <laughs> from, well, 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 but in most applications, even up to the constant factor, it would not be very important. However, there are important moments where, 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 when constant does matter. I think Enrico, you get two times maximum of Q squared n, right? Uh, together with with with, with, with Davenport or hello. Don't remember. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah. It's been, it's been improved eventually. Yeah. Right. Yeah. But by, 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 by many, many people, right? And also, this this is the best possible. You cannot improve that constantly if you square plus n minus one in such full generality. What is important here when you look at this, it it, it gives you a saving of square root of n in in, in the in this character sum, which is as powerful as one that you could expect from the hypothesis when you count right numbers. So that's really powerful. And it also had some uh, improvements uh, here uh, where, 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 when you put some logarithmic weight if, if the coefficients are based supported by numbers, for example. So there are some improvements for special coefficients. One sometimes would like to have asymptotic formula rather than inequality, uh, not so much because of, of but just, just to get the, 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 the good, good, good estimations, like for counting zeros of L functions with a line, you need, so, so to speak, asymptotic large C. That, that is to say, instead of inequality, 
two total values. Remember the Q square is more or less a number of these harmonics outside, but it's not exactly one because you have something of a primitive character here Q. So it's, it's, it's Q square should be in asymptotic formula would be a factor smaller than one to Q square. So, but asymptotic formula, but asymptotic formula on the other hand requires special property of the coefficients. This is the best possible in general. Like it. How, you, how can you get this inequality? Well, you can use Gauss sums and, uh, and, uh, and uh, the, the, derive this one from this version of the Leipzig. Sometimes that's the Leipzig. You, you sum all the additive characters, I didn't multiply the one, and you have still a huge orthogonality if you sum over, over the, the, the reduced classes model. Okay. So that this inequality implies this one, like that. Okay. Hold on, uh, the right end. What, what, what about this Q squared plus N minus one? You know, it, it, it's a norm of an operator. It's, it's a, of a linear operator uh, relevant to, to our, uh, our characters. And, and, and uh, so, um, uh, so, so you, you, you can also ask, for example, where are the other eigenvalues? It's the norm of the operators is the, 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 max, the largest one, but there are many more, and, right? <laughs> and and uh, matrix here. And so, so the distribution of other eigenvalues has been studied, not for applications, but for curiosity, but, but, but by Oka and Rajivi, they established uh, you know, as well, only in the range when n is co compared with Q squared. There are other, you know, situations uh, that, that are, appear in, in practice and applications when the far points this, 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 that, are, that determine this, this additive characters are special ones, not just all of them, A over Q, when you have one well, average over, over the characters, uh, well, maybe I should put it, I, I think Pierre is looking at me with some yeah, what is curiosity? Right? Yes. So, what, what's your question? What is special? Well, this, uh, no, th 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 this, this is just summing over here, it's summing over all the additive characters primitive model of ah. Q, and now the special ones is when, when, when numerator is a root of quality complex, very, very special ones, and it's not just, uh, just capriccio, something that you like to. To study it is really appears in applications. So, so, so the C is the version of the last C for for for, for, for with quadratic roots. Okay. The other, other versions uh, for, for for other characters like real characters only. That means it's easier. Actually, it's harder, you know, to get get uh, such a super orthogonality with smaller family of, of characters of harmonics. I would call it. Yeah. So it was established by his Brown. For the real characters that they put in here, and the superscript uh, means some other, the, 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 the summation is restricted to square free numbers. Otherwise, you know, M of N to be, uh, I mean, quite a decreasing symbol has to be, uh, be properly defined. Okay, so, so the, these are examples of other kind of uh, large CV inequalities today that are very, uh, very, very important. And as I mentioned, these are the, okay, let's go. Okay, I, I think I, I, I should really stop now. Uh, uh, so if you want to see more historical development and more results, uh, particular applications to some classical problems like linear, uh, you know, uh, for, for the least primary progression or distribution of uh, I mean, many, many other aspects of this idea of large C are presented in this book, and I recommend people to study this one in particular because it's almost complete in a way. You know, so that doesn't need to be added anything when it comes to the traditional large C in politics. Uh, there, are, there are, of course, uh, uh, works and sort of motivated by applications. When, when your harmonics are not just characters, but some other, you know, system of of uh, functions having you know, some kind of orthogonality, like Hecke eigenvalues, uh, or uh, and uh, there are also situations 
when the, the bump for the norm of the operator is not as good as you can naively expect. There are some anomaly, some bias. So for cubic, for cubic characteristics, but I'm so some bias, it's uh, Rajivi and Bokhari proved rigorously that, 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 that the norm of the operator should not be as, as, as expected. Uh, and also for the eigenvalues in some situations, you know, that, 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 uh, it's, it's interesting to, to see the bias because it shows that the eigenvalues tend to be like vessel functions. That's where the bias comes from. I don't, I didn't even prepare this to, to show this, too technical to talk, but uh, I'm just saying from to the conclusion that uh, the last shift theory is still alive. A lot of work is going on, the generalization for higher rank uh, uh, you know, stuff. So thank you.